Hey YouTube, it's your boy Dakota Hawk coming at you another Hawks Outdoors video. Today will be a lather review of the Razor Rock XXX. Wow, I got my contacts in guys, that's why I don't actually have glasses on and I am just shocked by the difference every single time I put them on. Um, so, Razor, Razor Rock review. Uh, this comes in a 5 ounce tub, it is a, I'm going to say congealed cream. Um, scent, that's a very natural scent, um, it's really hard to place, if you've ever been inside of like a, uh, like a Dale's, like a, like a greenhouse, or something like that, you might have actually smelt this scent, we have, uh, two, we have Dale's greenhouse, we have Big Bloomers, which is basically, uh, just a flower place, I forgot the name, but, uh, it smells really, it's a really, really nice scent. I, I want to, it's, it's just, it's very, very fresh. It smells really good. It's, it, it's an amazing scent, guys. Uh, it's one of those scents that when you smell it, you know, made a rock. Um, so I have created a lather uh, from this, of course, previous to making this video. Uh, it is a pretty, pretty nice lather indeed. I was actually shocked by it because, uh, in the DE community, at least the videos that I've seen, you know, some people call it call it a cheap. Some people don't like it, uh, but I don't think they're gonna give it credit where credit is due. So let's, uh, further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here. Beat the devil out your brush. <laughs> I remember growing up as a kid, I used to come home from school and watch Bob Ross on uh, ABC. He used to come on all the time. So we're gonna do the dry brush method. It does not take long to load this brush at all with this cream. And another thing I like to point out, which at first I'm not going to lie, it bugged me, but once I've actually figured it out, some this may bug you, and at first it did me, but there's a reason for this. It's not filled up to the top, and I love that because I don't have all the cream getting all over the sides as if I would with the Prasso. It stays actually inside. I love that about it and I think all of them should do that. So, good job Razor Rock for noticing that little bit of detail. I really do appreciate it. It's a literally a mess freed bowl. So, and even if you want to make a lather in the bowl, you can do so. You have that extra space to do so, which to me is really important. I don't need to use my finger and put in a ball you can just make it in here so um here we go bowl the brush is done we're at the face guys you guys know the drill so this retails on amazon i didn't go to the website to uh get it on amazon it retails for about 12 bucks And again, we're not making the lather right now. We are just loading the face. We're just waking it up a little bit. Wakey, wakey. Alright. Now it's when we're going to start making the lather. You guys are going to see, it's, when you apply it, it looks kind of chunky. Okay. There's nothing on my face that's making it look like that. It's just, it's just how it comes out. Um... How thirsty is she? She's a little bit more thirstier than the Arco. A little bit more thirstier than the Arco. But it's not too bad at all. It's really not. So how have you guys been this week? I had a eye doctor appointment yesterday that, well... Went there for no reason. They told me to come back later on, but then again, it was technically my fault. It's for my contacts. I haven't been wearing my contacts. You know, contacts are very disciplinary type thing. All right. Now, if you see, it looks very bumpy. Again, that is not me. That's the cream. You just keep adding more water to it, and it will go from that to an actual cream. As you can see here, it's starting to do it now.
So some people will actually say this is a thirsty soap. And they might be justified by saying that. But I don't think it's too bad. You know, every soap is different. The, the aroma I'm getting off this, it's not a cologne aroma at all. It's more of like a uh, fresh, if you used to go to like a garden or like a, what's those places called that sells all different types of plants? I, I used to go there often when I walked through a landscape and come there, I forgot what it's called. A nursery. Have you ever been to a nursery? It smells just like it would if you used to go to the flower section. It's amazing. I, I, I genuinely love the scent. It's not, it's not a manly scent. It's, it's just an overall, you know, fresh, clean smelling scent. And it's a little bit sweet too. You know, it's a little bit sweet. All right, this is the lather. You guys can see it's, it's thick. It's nice. Now, what I love, love about this is the slickness. This uh, soap or cream, it's a cream, has the best slickness I've seen yet. I've tried all the Cremos, I've tried um, the Colconks, I've tried uh, the Prasser and the Alco. This has the best slickness out of all of them. Okay, this slickness, by its as it is, is still slicker. But what surprised me more than anything is the slickness after you shave. So the pre-shave. Or after whatever it, it's after you shave the slickness it's incredible but again we're not shaving with this this is a lather review tomorrow we'll actually jump in and we'll actually actually experience that so the lather is done okay the lather is done I don't need to do anything else to it I'm just gonna sit here talk to you guys give it enough time to see what will it do will it fade or will it stay let's find out so, things that's going on in my life, uh, contacts, 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 uh, my left eye is, the contacts is a little bit too big, so, you, the, the color of your eye, about that much is, about that much is not covered up, which means you can actually, you'll actually be able to see it, it's right there, it should be here, but it's not, it's right there, so, that's something I need to go back and tell them, but, I'm getting a hold of it. For those who are having problems with contacts, lighting is the best thing. This lighting that I have in my in my bathroom is not good enough for some reason. So I actually got an LED lamp, and that is absolutely amazing. It took it from 30 to 40 minutes to put these things in to 5 minutes, and it made a big difference. Uh, another thing that, that you can do is slow, get it to your eye, and just slowly put it in here like this. All right. It helps with the bubble if you guys are having bubbles. If you do get a bubble, take it out, put it back in. Uh, don't try to get it out yourself. Take it out, put it back in. Leave it at that. So, let's look at the leather. It has not started to fade yet. Now, I'm pretty sure you could make a really thick leather with this. I've never really tried because there's no really point in doing it. I'm kind of see what is the main is this a tallow weight soap or so I guess there's water over here I'm gonna read you guys some of the ingredients stearic acid water cocoa and coconut oil basically potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide tallow acid uh hydrogenic tated mm. mm. uh, shea butter fragrance perfume uh, our organ oil aloe um, yeah but there's a lot of good stuff in there a lot of oils and stuff um but I've never really tried a uh, glycerin based soap, but I was told that they they need water, and as you guys could see right there when I try to make it thicker, it needed more water. So let's let's see what we can do with it. If we actually had the patience, 
which some days I do. Let's see how how much water this thing will take and what 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 would happen to it. Let's just play around with it here for a second. Now see here I put too much water. That's all right, it'll thicken it up. There we go. There, that's a little bit thicker for you guys. Guys, it is so, so incredibly slick. I just can't tell you guys how slick this thing is. Like, it's so slick. It's like, hands down, one of the most slickest soaps I actually own. Uh, after the, I haven't shaved, but I've, ran the razor across it once slickness it's let's see if we was to put it into the percentage stage it would be 50 percent slick the slickness of it would be deducted about 75 percent so you still have a good a good 25 percent slickness still left behind and that's incredible uh that that's still there so again if you guys are wanting a a Italy based soap, they are all based in Italy. I could not find when they was established. I googled it, couldn't find it. Uh, but it is an it it, it 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 is an Italy based company. Uh, it is an amazing company. Uh, I just sent them an email talking about their products. Um, but uh, yeah, thoroughly impressed with Razor Rocks. XXX. Uh, they also have a website. You guys want to go check out the website? They have tons more. And I mean, at least 20 to 25 more products than this, which shocked me because the only one I've ever seen was this. I've never seen any of the other products. I didn't know they existed. The website, they got everything you, you, you could possibly want. I'm actually looking at one of their brushes. I'm thinking about synthetic. I've never had a synthetic book, but I'm thinking about it. So, uh, with that, this will conclude the Razor Rock XXX shaving, I'm not shaving, uh, lather review. Again, fantastic. A little bit more on the thoracic side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, extreme, 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 extreme slickness. Better than the Arco, the Parasso, uh, the Cremo, um, the cold conch, it's 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 a really nice slick soap and as you read by the ingredients they have some really good stuff in there to help that out and to boost that so everybody smile for me as i get a thumbnail thank you all right guys i'm gonna get off here i hope you guys have a great day and as always like subscribe favorite if you want to and share this with your friends have a great day guys god bless